Well, hello everyone. My name is Zachary O'Shea, and this is Box of Teeth. It's also just another Mimic Monday, and I have a Mimic to share with all of you. Every Monday around these parts, I reach deep into that box of teeth and produce a homebrew mimic for all of you for Dungeon Dragons 5th Edition. They're often silly and sometimes a little bit horrific, and today we have the Tub Mimic. The Baron disappeared in a locked room. No signs of struggle. No signs of anyone coming or going. It appears that he was preparing to take a bath. Wait, is that blood on the tile? Ah, yes it is. Finally, a clue. You study it carefully. Splish splash. Now you're taking a bath. A particularly vicious creature, the tub mimic carries an inflated sense of self. It is the most inviting trap that there could ever possibly be, after all. Who doesn't want a long soak? With this ego comes a dulled mind and a bully's rage that often manifests in a fury of blows. That is if, of course, drowning prey doesn't work first. Fondling can drain more than just water, sucking away the very strength that could save many a meal. Rumors also have it that each tub mimic has a collection of rubber ducks. All right, that being said, let's take a look at the tub mimic statistics for Dungeon Dragons 5th edition. The Tub Mimic is a challenge rating for medium monstrosity that is neutral. While it is challenge rating for, its hit points and armor class aren't particularly high, but that's because it has a lot of abilities that bump it up to that challenge level. For example, it does have resistance to both cold and fire, along with the usual condition immunities and damage immunities. Like any other Mimic, it does have Shape Changer, Adhesive, False Appearance, and Grappler, though it can only change into a bathtub. On top of that, it does have Amphibious, so it can breathe both air and water. In addition to that, it does have Drown, so in object form it can pull someone into the water that it has, or maybe saliva. It's up to you how gross you want to be, and start drowning it. If the creature fails a constitution save, it's as if it had already run out of breath. And we know that that can kill a creature pretty darn quick. It also has Tub Thumping, which means if it hits with both of its pseudopod attacks in one turn, because it does have multi-attack, then it gets to make another pseudopod attack as a bonus action. Again, it has pseudopod attacks and bite attack. It also has to have drain, which is a recharge ability because what it does, is it drains the strength of all the creatures around it if they fail a wisdom save and they gain disadvantage on strength-based skill checks. That would include grappling as well as strength-based attacks. As you can see, it can be a particularly nasty monster if everything goes wrong for the players that are fighting it or I guess their characters really. I hope you enjoyed the Tub Mimic. You can find it, hundreds of other mimics, and hundreds more horror-themed creatures, all for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, and all perfectly free at boxofteeth.blogspot.com. If you're more interested in the non-Dungeons & Dragons horror-related content that I have, or the horror fiction that I write, that includes grease paint right there, you can always go to www.zachryoshea.com. Thank you for your time and your attention, and I hope you have a great rest of the week ahead of you.